Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson. I'll do weather observation station 20 from the subsection aggregation of the SQL section from HackerRank. So let's get started. We're given this question, has the table station with five columns, ID, city, state, lat, underscore, and long, underscore, w. So basically for the purposes of this question, we only care about lat, underscore, n. So we want to find out what the median value is for all the lat underscore n values. Basically, you take all the values for lat underscore n, sort them ascending, and you've got to take the midpoint. Uh, if it's odd, for example, if you had like three values, right? The midpoint would be the second one, uh, okay? So if, if it's uh, even two values, uh, that's a little bit weird, but we can take the lower one. For example, if you have two elements, you can take the first one, okay? So how can we do this? Well, there's, I don't think there is a medium function we can leverage conveniently to use. So we gotta do some, a uh, little bit more complicated stuff to get this working. So uh, what my, my line of thinking about this is I'm gonna first count how many rows there are. If I know how many rows I can get the midpoint, right? The mid number, what's the index, right? Of the mid row. If I order them by lat underscore n. And then what I do is I leverage a uh, sequels offset function so I can offset all the records before that midpoint so I can eliminate them, right? So instead of querying all these first records before the midpoint, I eliminate them all with the offset parameter. And then after that, I use limit one to just take that very first row after eliminating all the previous ones because I don't want anything after the midpoint, after the mid row, right? So how can we accomplish that? Well, to do the, that dynamic number for the offset, I cannot just do it in plain SQL. I gotta do a prepared statement and put a variable there that references the number of rows, the total number of rows in this table. So let's go one by one. I'm gonna use my SQL here. Now, first I wanna find out how many rows there are. So that, that's easy, right? You can just do uh, select count star from station right now oh, that's nice is is it possible if i could get like the the midpoint of that row well if i divide by two right if i take that and divide by two i can get kind of a midpoint but if it's a odd number it's going to be a decimal right so i don't want that so i can either take the the floor which is the number down or i can round it up right with a ceiling so for the purposes of this because i'm using offset and I want to offset everything before the midpoint. Uh, I'm going to use the floor, okay? So it's a little detail. So you got to, if you do it, you would have to play around to see if it's floor or ceiling as you do the problem. But I already know the offset, uh, I need to take the floor, okay? So th that way, for example, if I have three elements and if I divide three divided by two is 1.5, if I do floor, that means I drop the five. If it were ceiling, it would go from 1.5 to 2. I don't want that in this case, okay? Because I want to offset only one in this case. Because if I offset one and there's three elements, right? A, B, C. I offset one, meaning I, I remove only the, the ones before the B. There's just one, right? And I get B and C. And then I can limit to remove C. Okay, so that's it for that part. Now, that's nice. How can we place that in a variable? So we can do set at and the name of the variable, I'll call it row underscore count equals this. But because syntax, I have to add a parenthesis around the select, okay? And if I run the code, that should be fine. Even though the wrong answer, we don't get any errors. That means the syntax is correct. Now I got the row count there, okay? We still gotta do some stuff in that, uh, uh, row count line, but I'll leave that for later because you can see it's going to error out. Now we got a row count. Now we got to use that. So for the query, the query I want to do is this select. Let's just start for now from station order by lat underscore n. So I'll take all the rows order by lat underscore n. Okay. Now I want to offset and remove everything from the midpoint upwards. Right. I'm going to offset by the row count here. Obviously, I cannot use it like this, okay, because of SQL syntax. But I'm just showing you what my thought process is. Now, I want to limit, before I says I want to limit just one. That means I drop, I, I remove all the rows after the mid row. 
because I want to only get one, that one with the median value. And then finally, I want to only get the value for lat underscore n, but because it's rounded to four decimal places, I got to do round lat underscore n here, comma four. So that would be the query, but if I do this query, it's not going to work. We got an error in syntax. Now to make this work, you got to do what's called a prepare statement. So to do prepare statement, we do like this. We call prepare stmt, and then from and in quotes, and you got to put this whole query there inside the quotes, and remove the semicolon and put outside the quote. Now, the, where you see the variable here, you got to take that out, replace it with a question mark, so that in the next line, you're going to say execute stmt, okay, using that variable. So what this is doing is, okay, I want to execute stmt, which is this prepare statement, this query, and using these values. So this first value will replace the very first question mark that appears in the query there. Okay, so that's the value of row count is going to go into the question mark there. Let's run the code. It's still going to get an error. Okay, so it's saying there's incorrect arguments to execute line three. So the problem here is the variable value. It's not properly being understood when you put it in the offset here. So you have to explicitly tell uh, MySQL this is an integer value. Right, so we have to cast the value, meaning convert it to another type. So where you have the row count definition here, you have to go select whatever this part here. You gotta cast it to an integer. So I'll use the cast, whatever this is, as okay, and sign. Sign means an integer that has a sign. So I'm gonna run code now. And now you can see we got the answer, 83.8913. That's the mid, the point if you sort all the rows by lat underscore n, take the very mid row, take the value of lat underscore n, round into four, that's what you get. I'm gonna submit. And that's weather observation station 20.